Hello and welcome to the last Flory Models Friday Roundup show of 2023. Happy Christmas. I know a lot of you have broken up, but we're still working hard here at Flory Models, getting everything done. And boy, what a really busy, busy week. It's always busy towards the end of Christmas, but we can get new kit releases coming out as well and everything on top of it utter chaos anyway really great week this week been doing lots of reviews as you know we sort of did the eight days of christmas uh on the, this one so if we start on that one uh as you can see or probably not uh we basically started on as you would know it on uh sunday we had the mig 29k up which is actually a really, really nice kit. I must admit, it's nice to see Hobby Boss bringing out these ones. The way I've sort of understood it is that these ones are sort of the upgraded version of the traditional flankers as we might know them. So that's why it looks a little bit different. Uh, but again, it is a really nice kit. Nice level of detail right the way through. So really, you can't gauge it against the uh, sort of king of the hill, if you like, of the Great Wall Hobbies kits, because these are a totally different breed uh, of MiG-29. Uh, and again, really very, very nice all the way through. So if you found Fancy grabbing one of those they are uh, available right now uh, also a bit of classics so this particular kit is called quiet astir shall we say in fact about over 50 comments on YouTube and over 6,000 views on it so it's like yeah of a kit that is to be honest not brilliant in fact I don't know where you would want to start but the instructions are a little bit uh, yeah simplistic as you can see it's a multimedia kit so we've got resin we've got white metal and then obviously we've got vac form and we've got what can be described as styrene but yeah I, it's more like vac form injection molded vac form if that makes sense uh, so again the details are a little bit soft uh, but it's all there now this particular kit I intend to build it me and Matt in 2024 over uh, being mad and uh, he's building Hampton I'm going to do the Halifax as part of our sort of live shows and also it will be for members a full video build as well and a little bit more in depth uh, but it should be a lot of fun of how to get what is a not a brilliant kit uh into something that should resemble a halifax at the end of it so it should be a lot of fun for this one so watch out for this one uh and again sometime in early 2024 we'll be starting with these as part of our big new build series uh which we'll be doing as part of the live shows and as said members it will be a full video build as well all right so fear not on that particular one but if you want to see that review and have a look at that kit it's worth having a look that kit's quite expensive uh it does in there Anyway, a kit we've spent many, many hours talking about uh, and obviously spoken to per, uh, Pramjit about this one as well, the designer uh, from Airfix. And uh, he's done various presentations with us in the Gannet and eventually I managed to get one. So I uh, got one out of PM Models, had it sent down and finally got a review of this one done and up. And again, usual thing, what, what we've come to expect now from Airfix and more. Uh, and it's really nice that the company is being pushed and it's just getting better and better. So again, great instructions, but the level of detail right the way through here uh, and in the video as well I get a torch out and show you how thin these sides are uh, and how highly detailed just to cram all that detail in to keep the same sort of uh, scale effect really nicely done but beautiful levels of detail right the way through and again I think this is just airfix really ramping up now you know we've got all that riveting down in there we've got raised detail we've got recessed detail if you go back literally just a couple of years we wouldn't have got anything like this so the company's really pushing along and beautiful work all the way through so anyway you've got high-res photos like we just shown so if you want to click on any of these photos pop into the site have a look on the review and you can see all of these and go through the instructions and have a look at my video as well with all of my video builds and uh, reviews Lysander a very much a classic kit I remember building this when it was in the old matchbox uh, colors uh, and in their kit and again it was actually one of those ones where it's the only one there's no point saying oh it's awful and all the rest of it it's a bit like the Halifax it's the only one so what you're going to do you're going to build it or you're not but this one I think with a little bit more work and a little bit of sort of scratch building and tidying up and re-riveting re-scribing could actually turn into something extra special and again it's a kit that I hope to be building uh in 2024 as well so again really old school instructions there's the original one done by matchbox and again all the parts down in here which are simple but the clear parts for instance are really really good they're crystal clear no problem at all the rest of it yeah but uh, it just needs a little bit of updating and everything and you end up with something really very very nice so again if you want to see some of these classic kits that are up there the 1982 the general uh which is obviously the wood burning loco uh, and again, something really old school. And the reason I sort of picked this one, not only because we spoke about it on one of my live shows previously, and it was kindly donated and sent to me by one of the viewers, but 
it's that nostalgia. It's very much like a Christmas gift we would have got back in the day. Uh, so if you were a child of the 70s, probably, uh, you would have probably had this around about the 18, uh, in the 80s when you're sort of teens and, uh, you know, 10s and teens and things like that. So you probably might have had a go at this kit and uh, it stirred a lot of emotion. Lots of people have given me feedback on this one. Lots of comments as well on YouTube about this particular kit. So uh, yeah, it's really nice to look back at some of these old classic kits and have a proper look through them and go through the instructions and the parts and have a look and see what they're like. And to be honest, I am surprised. The level of detail is really, really good. Even just the um, chromed parts in the gold here, really, really nice. And they've stood up to the time as well, because this kit, I think it was last boxed in, well, yeah, whenever. Uh, it's not around. It was done uh, in 2019, I think it was MPC did it. Uh, sorry, 2015, uh, it got re-released again under new box art. But generally, it is a kit that's a few years old now. It's 40 odd years old. And uh, it just still stands up to the old things of time. So again, a little bit of classic nostalgia back there with that particular one. And then bring us bang up to date. Again, I didn't manage to get one of these kits before, so I finally got hold of one. Uh, and this is obviously the 24 scale Supermarine Spitfire. And it, to be honest, everything's been said about this kit. I've just come along and give my two pennant into this one. It's a really, really nice kit. You've got everything you could ever want. It's a standard Airfix 24 scale kit. To be honest with you, I don't think it's as detailed as perhaps some of the newer kits that have just come out this year. Like we've seen the Buccaneer definitely as well with the Gannet. So uh, yeah, it just shows how quickly time is moving on with these particular kits. And it'll be interesting to see what Airfix are up to for their next 24th scale one, or are they gonna have a little bit of a break from them? But uh, anyway, if you wanna have a look at that review and you haven't bitten the bullet and bought one of these already, you can definitely go off and have a look at one of those right now they're up there as in all our review section what i will do over the christmas break i will start getting these categorized away because i'm acutely aware there's not many i haven't had time to put them into the subcategories as well but i will spend a little bit of time doing that over the uh, first couple of weeks in the new year of getting all these tidied away and squared away and everything else like that but anyway with all our reviews you can go back and see them all here and again of late they've all got full hd photos that go inside with them so you can see all the instructions and obviously we've got all the parts and detailed shots and views so you can see exactly what you're going to get as well as the video so again you can see all of those just pop along to the actual floorymodels.org forward slash reviews and you can see them just down in here like that and there's thousands in there now uh, to be honest with you uh so yeah so this week we did two full live shows um if i can see them i've got to remember so we had uh this one sorry that's the pm show we want the one previous to that where is the previous to that uh members there's the where's our evening one so that's friday there it is sorry it's down in here because i pinched the photo because uh, we had the lysander at the same time uh but me and matt obviously live show on tuesday usual thing answering all your questions generally having a chat talking about all the various things that are going on at the moment didn't do much modeling to be honest uh, although i did uh, have a couple of things off the sprue for the halifax to see how it's going to stand up and all the rest of it so again pm show been really successful this year it's really taken off and again we've got some big plans and ideas for next year on that one so plenty still to come for that so the next show will be with you on the 2nd of january uh, from these shows as well from the tuesday show it will go back to its normal time slot as well at uh, three o'clock in the afternoon as well for that particular one pm show as always we were rounding off the year because obviously it's the last pm show of the year as well so we were talking about all the various kits that are coming out as you can see and all the things that dropped literally down in here as well so if you want to go off and see any of these one shows you can do and obviously same thing again answering all your questions exactly what's going on as well so if you want to catch up with any of the pm shows they're available every wednesday and they are free to watch as well last night we had our christmas show obviously the big party uh on here so again it was one of those ones where very light-hearted we were going through nathan obviously thanked everybody for if i just go back a little bit there we go for donating the presents obviously we did it for the kiddies uh for um uh da -da 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 -da, alder hayes children hospital so Nathan arranged that and he arranged to get the army involved with one of their trucks to deliver it. And as you can see, it was two pallet fulls in the end. He went to get one pallet full done and actually it was two pallet fulls of toys that they managed to do uh, and then get them safely over to the kids. So thank you to everybody who helped donate with that one. Obviously it was last week's show. We spoke about it. It all made it there uh, yesterday as well. So a good show by everybody. All right. And they're basically working through. Uh, we had our outtake blooper show. Uh, so again, it was one of those ones where 
like everybody we are human and it's horrendous and we have giggles and laughs so a lot of the time when the camera is still rolling it gets edited out but i put them into a little bit of a thing it's a 15 minute one in there what i will do is make it a standalone video which will appear down below so you don't have to go through all of last night's show again if you want to you can watch it as a standalone so by the time you watch this it will be available and obviously i'll put it down in the show notes underneath here so just click on the link and it will take you off to the video and you can go and see that one so if you want to see any of those you can and even Corrine look who um yes for somebody who did a one minute video it took an hour and a half to do it so uh but yes all good down in there and again answering all your questions all the merriments and various things with me and the guys as you can imagine right the way through next time we'll have a show will actually be on let me just check the date for you it'll be next thursday at 7 30 which is the 28th all right, so that's the next show we will actually be up with you, which will be on the 28th. So if you want to come along and see that particular show, you can do. It would be lovely to have you along. It's our end of year party show, if you like. So it's literally everything that we've been doing this year. Bit of a recap with me and the guys. And obviously we'll be having our nominations for kit review of the year, manufacturer of the, uh, of the year, you know, paint tools and all the other bits and pieces as well. So uh, if you want to watch that show, it will be live. You can join in, usual thing, on Facebook. Um, uh, and uh, obviously on the old YouTube and things like that as well. So if you want to jo join in with any of those shows, you can do. So still plenty of things to come down in there. And then that gets you bang up to today. So as promised, I have done a few little things. All right. So first up, we've got the diorama. And me and Matt actually recorded this back in the summer, but for whatever reason, it never made it to uh, to show. So uh, literally, if you come down in here and then just click on the thing, you'll be taken to it. It is a free-to-watch video, and it's a four-parter of me and Matt. Well, Matt teaching me how to make a diorama base, bearing in mind I've never done it. And that's what we ended up with in two days. In fact, it wasn't two days. It was more like a day and a half. All right, so we ended up with that, which I didn't think was too bad at all going through for somebody who's never actually done a diorama in my life, and Matt showed me. Something I really want to get into next year, if I get a bit more time, I will start doing a few of them. Uh, I want to get some generic ones for me photos to go on and things like that. But again, worked very, very nicely, and techniques I didn't even know existed. All right, so we got those. Anyway, it is a four-parter. I think they're around about 30 minutes long, might be a little bit longer, but you can go now and watch it. And it is a free-to-watch video. It is up on YouTube as well, so if you want to go and see that one as well and i have dropped a couple of little little surprises for your little christmas gifts down amongst these i'll give you a clue if you have a look through here every now and again you might find one that's actually a free to watch video so you can come in like here's your clue this one so the tornado old kit to be honest it's a few years old now this video but all the parts are free to watch as well now so if you are a non-member and you want to see what we do you can have a look in here to be honest they are a little bit older but there is another one in there somewhere hidden away uh, a video one of the newer ones it's in there as well so just literally pop into the actual video builds uh, section down in here have a look through and maybe you can find it and it's the full free to watch video build and it will stay up there until the new year all right other little things that i'm doing at the moment He's moving some of the older ones over into here. So now for the first time, which it should have been done a long time ago because it's like 15 years old now, or probably more than that, maybe 17 years old, uh, we've got this is when I did the Phantom. So this is the Tamiya Phantom, and this is a free-to-watch video as well. It's a standalone one just down in here. It is also up on YouTube. So if you want to go off and have a look at those ones, you can see those as well. They are up there. And what I will be doing over the next few weeks is transferring probably around about 10 uh, builds over into this area. So these are all our old classic builds there's no fluff with them and all the rest of it is literally just the videos so if you want to go and watch some of the old classics which go back over my last 25 years of doing this uh, you can go back and have a look at those ones uh, as often as you like because they are free and free for all time last up just thank you to everybody who supported obviously me with the clay washes for the weathering wash and obviously the new thick weathering wash which has been a massive success just to answer a few questions we get recently people saying about like what's the difference and all the rest of it honestly if you just pop here we've got one on thick weathering washes if you click here it will take you and show you and talks about all the details and there's videos of how to use it and lots of pictures all right you've got one down in there and then you've got to click on the normal washes one and that one's down in here it shows you how the normal washes work uh, and everything in between all right so you've got all the ones just down in there like that all right finally over to the pm store thank you for everybody who supported the pm store this year as well and we've got a massive boxing day sale which is going to start on the 26th all right and it's going to run to the 2nd of january and we got 10 percent 
on all kits all right so anything you see down in there you can get it excludes obviously the civil section that was already discounted heavily and things like that so at the moment the actual store doesn't have anything in special offers because obviously everything's been prepared for the actual uh, big sale event. But basically it's 10% off all kits absolutely everywhere. Over in the new arrival section, a couple of things that have dropped in. Obviously you probably would have seen this live with us on Tuesday, but obviously the Corsairs are in and the FW190s are in. Members, if you had those down as pre-orders, those have all been sent out as well. And I know a lot of you yesterday got the Corsairs, which is amazing service from Royal Mail, because they didn't go out until Tuesday. And obviously the week before Christmas, I really didn't think they were gonna get there in time, but they are. But anyway, a lot of the uh, new ones as well, all down in here. So if you fancy any of those, you can grab those now in the store as well. But obviously probably hold off until you get 10% off. Just saying, just might be an idea just to do that one. So there we go, that just about sums up this week. What a great week we've had. And to be honest, what a great 2023 we've had. And like I've always said, it's you guys that make it. Massive thank you to the Flory family. Without you, I wouldn't be here, it's as simple as that. And again, I never take it for granted for one minute how lucky I am to do this job. So a massive thank you to all the supporters. Obviously also thank you to the YouTube crowd. I have to say that for years I never had comments on because it was just a toxic cesspit of negativity, shall we say turned them on about six months ago and we've had nothing but positive so massive thank you to everybody as well over in youtube line supporting us and for the gifts as well massive thank you to the people who send me kits to do like the train the lysander and lots of the ones we've been doing of late have been donations from members as well so massive thank you to you guys and just general public who send me over gifts and bits and pieces as well it's truly truly humbling everything that you do for us here so for the last time for 2023 we're going to leave you with a gallery of your great work so hopefully we'll see you again on the 28th if not we'll see you all in 2024 for another amazing year of model making so until then happy christmas and a very peaceful new year